I think maybe for me, the best way to begin this conversation with you is to tell you that I have always been an extremely vivid dreamer. And I mean that literally. When I lay down that night, or when, whenever it happens to be, and my head hits the pillow, I immediately start having very colorful, vivid dreams. Sometimes, I think, I start dreaming even before I'm actually asleep. And I dream until the very second I wake up, and sometimes I think I keep dreaming for a few seconds after that. Now, some people are more vivid dreamers than others. Some people may be like me. You might be like me and dream like that every night, or maybe just once in a while you have a dream. But most of the time when you have this dream, you don't actually realize it's a dream. You think that's your reality at that moment. Well, once in a while, something very unusual happens. You realize you're having a dream. And when you do that, it's called a lucid dream, and suddenly you can control it. And when you can control that dream, well, you can have a lot of fun with it. The sky's the limit. Well, I'm here to tell each and every one of you that you are dreaming right now. That this experience that you usually call your reality is, in fact, another type of dream. And I am here to help you become lucid and turn that dream into a lucid dream. You will be surprised at how much you can change about this experience that you're in right now. But you need help. It's not easy to do this. It should be, but it's not. You know why it's not? Because from the time you're a little bitty baby, you are told to obey, obey, obey. This is the framework within which you live. These are the rules you have to follow. This is what works. This is what doesn't work. And everybody is conditioning you to live in their version of the dream, okay? their version of the reality. Uh, you can't fault yourself for having trouble breaking out of that. I'm still struggling with it. We all struggle. But everything that we have now learned, going back thousands of years, about religion, philosophy, physics, metaphysics, all of it has shown us again and again that we can change this reality in profound ways. We still don't even know the limits. I always tell people that these devices work within the natural laws. And that's an easy way of saying, like, probably you're not going to be able to fly like Superman or live forever. But the truth is, we still don't know the limits of the natural laws. We're still trying to figure all that out. I always find it interesting... Um, when you look at these scientists who are the smartest scientists in the world, these astrophysicists and cosmologists, and quantum physicists and whatnot, and they start looking at what they can detect out there, they will be the first to admit that of what we can see in the universe, over 95% of it is what they call dark matter and dark energy, which is defined by the very fact that we have no clue what it is. We can't directly measure it in any way. So if our smartest people with the best budgets and best equipment are admitting that we don't know what 95% of this is, scientifically speaking, then why should we think that we know what's possible and what's impossible? Uh, what I do know is that whatever's out there is interfacing right here with you, between your ears. That's the power that you have, the power of the interface. And I believe that there are certain tools out there that help empower that interface so that you can start making this dream experience a more lucid one and start controlling things. I hope that analogy helps you a little bit and sets the tone for what might be going on here. 